This is a very quick tip for using generative fill, which you can find at the minute on the Photoshop beta app. Sometimes uh, you have perhaps a, an area of the sky that's blown out or an area of your photograph that's blown out. And it's very easy to fix that with generative fill. Uh, I used to try to draw behind it and then change the blending modes and it was, it just took a while. Now all I do, select the area in generative fill, just hit return and let Photoshop do its job. You see the wee blue uh, progress marker coming up, it doesn't take too long. And then after a second, bish bosh bosh, the, uh, the sky is sorted. There's maybe a wee bit there at the top. Um, let's see what the other one's like. Oh, it's maybe a bit worse. But, um, I mean, all you have to do now is uh, select a new layer, click the remove tool, and I'm sure that will be able to fix that wee bit of highlight there. What is it gonna do? There. And the blown out sky has been fixed. Just like that. Generative fill, um, you know, like it or hate it, uh, it's good for that. Hope that helps. See you next time.